So, you've got a fountain pen. Great, that was a wise decision. Oh, you've got multiple pens. <laughs> well, you might want to consider keeping those safe and organized in a pen case. Someone to help you decide which pen case is right for you? Well, I might know a guy. While a lot of the pen storage options might look similar at first glance, they're surprisingly different once you get into them. Let's break down some of the needs you might have and I'll do my best to show you some storage options that we have here at the Goulet Pen Company that will be just right for you. So let's say you need an on-the-go storage solution. We should talk about Rickshaw then. For starters, this company believes that no pen should ever be coming into contact with another pen while being stored. So you'll find that in every version of a Rickshaw pen case, there are individual compartments for each of your pens keeping them super safe within royal plush pockets without the use of elastic bands. Mm. One great system that they utilize is the koozie case. This is a zipper pouch that is perfect for stacking a 2-3-2 two, two, or a 3-2-3 three, three sandwich of sleeves so that you can start with just a two pen koozie and still know that you can upgrade and expand your storage options later down the line. Because these cases offer such intentional protection, they're great choices for daily carry bags. Do you have a library of pens that you just need to keep organized so that you don't drown under the weight of your decisions? Allow me to steer you over to Girologio's 48 pen case. Beautiful leather, two loops for each pen, and a removable divider so that you can gaze on the entirety of your collection and then cover it back up before you start to have any regrets about what you've done. Likewise, Monteverde makes a 36 pen case. This one's crazy affordable at $40. The Girologio's 90. So it's not leather, but on that one, you get one pen loop per pen. They might not all be straight all the time, but if you've been collecting pens for decades and you just need to kind of round these up, a couple of these might be exactly what the doctor ordered. If you'd like to have a pen case that looks right at home on your desk, there are some great ones here. Now, these might not be ideal for going on a hike as there isn't an overabundance of you know, stabilizers, but both Estabrook and Visconti make beautiful and display-worthy pen cases with features specifically designed for showcasing as well as storing your pens. If you've got some showstopper pens you want to keep organized but don't want to see them disappear into the plushy abyss of a rickshaw sleeve, these might be just what you need. You want to store more than just pens? That's an easy one. Galen Leather. If you're carrying pens, you need some paper, and the Galen Folio fits an A5 size notebook as well as up to four pens ah, on a removable tray and a bunch of other stuff too. It's super versatile, comes in a bunch of different styles, including natural leather, which unlike me actually looks better after prolonged use and time and life events. Speaking of versatility, there's also the Galen Writer's Medic Bag. It opens up using magnetic front closures to reveal several elastic pen loops and some additional bands for other accessories. The rear compartment has a ton of room for notebooks and other larger accessories while still being a relatively small bag. All these all-in-one storage solutions are great because let's be honest, how many of us just have this one hobby? The classic and most popular pen storage option is usually a zippered kind of book style case and is usually always a solid choice for a great all around solution. Uh, most of the time these cases feature two elastic bands for each pen as well as a flap that protects your pens when the case is closed. It's a tried and true design that you really can't go wrong with. Um, here I have some comparable cases in this style from Galen Leather, Aston Leather, and Girologio. Um, Girologio also makes one like this that opens with a magnetic closure, and Franklin Kristoff makes these that use a fold and tuck closure. They also make this penvelope that features a magnetic closure. Woo! Mm. And one last thing, if you want to protect a single pen, we've got you covered there as well with either a Rickshaw, Astorbrook, or Aston Leather. I hope that helped. If you're curious about whether to store inked up pens nib up or nib down, it's different depending on every pen and you. If you want to keep a pen on the dry side, keep it nib up. If you want it to stay more wet, try storing it nib down. That's not 100% effective, but depending on your needs, it could help. I like to keep mine laying on their side. That works for me. Anyway, I'll include all of the links in the description of this video for all of the pen cases we talked about here today, and I hope you find one that is exactly what you need. Tell me in the comments what your favorite pen case was, or let me know if I missed a great one. Thank you so very much for spending your time with me today. And if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can stay up to date on new videos. And if you'd like to visit gouletpens.com, you can buy lots of fountain pens for all these great cases we have and that we got excited about today.
Have fun. Right on.